Welcome, my name is Rune Sunnevold. I'm VP of Technology here in Signicat. In this video, we are going to create a sample application that uses our authentication API. In this demo, I will use my favorite language C-sharp, but we support SDKs in multiple languages, so choose whatever you want. This sample code will also be available on our GitHub page after the demo. Now I'll switch into Visual Studio. So now I'm in Visual Studio and we have a brand new solution here. Let's remove hello world. And then the first thing we need to do is to add the SDK. I've already searched up the SDK here and I click install. You probably notice that this SDK says IDEFY. That's the old name of the Express stack and will be changed to a Signicat in the future. But for now, we have to install the IDEFY SDK. Now, when this is installed, let's check here. We can start adding the code. The first thing we will do is to add the client. The client is the wrapper that communicates with the REST API. This requires a client ID, a client secret, and some scopes. We need to head into our developer dashboard in order to get this. So let's switch to the developer dashboard. You can see I already created a client here. I'll create a new one for this purpose. Let's call it auth sample. I need to take the secret because this will disappear and I cannot get this after I created it. So I'll just copy it into Visual Studio right away. This is a long random string and you better keep this safe uh, and not expose it in your code. Let's click create and let's get the client ID. Then we also need to add the identification scope for this client. I'll just add the scope here as well. So now that we got our client, we'll start by creating a new session. I'll create a sure, I run await because this sync is an async call. And then I'll create our session. We start by setting what kind of IDPs you want to you, uh, the user to be use on logging in. I'll use Norwegian Bank ID and Norwegian Bank ID Mobile. So I'll add these two here. Next thing I will do is set the redirect settings. Here I have to specify all the URLs for the different scenarios. Since we are just making a demo application here, I'll just send everyone to our page with a hash afterwards. The error URL is used if the user encounters some kind of error in the session and needs to be redirected to a separate error page. The abort URL is used if the user aborts the login. And the success URL if the user completes a successful authentication. So let's add the last one here. You also need to add an external reference. This is a unique string that you can use to identify the session from your end. It's also used as on invoicing. So you can track identification session versus the build items. I'll just use a GUID here but you could use whatever random string you have in your system. I'll also set the flow to redirect. I could have chosen an iframe, but then I need to have a web page. There's also a headless flow in order for in-app users, but you have to read more in our developer pages and to see the difference about the different flows. I'll also set the language to English. And I will set what kind of data I want to return. Here you can see that you can get a national identification number, date of birth, email, name, and phone number. For this, I will just use the NIN and a name. 
Finally, I'm also going to set some UI settings here. You can see, you can set different colors here and theme. I'll set the dark mode. Now I get our session. So I'll launch that in a in a browser. In order to do that, I've cheated. Added some small code here. So I'll add opening the session here. You can see on the session, you got a URL property, and you also got an ID. This ID will be used afterwards to retrieve the data. I'll use the URL property to open a browser. Also add a console read line here in order to make a breakpoint. Then we'll, after we have logged in, we'll get the user data back. So I create a session completed here. Completed using our client and get session using the session ID from above. Then I'm just going to print out the session in the console. So let's try. You can see it redirected me here. I'll use Norwegian Bank ID. I'll use my test user. You can find test users on our developer pages. Now, you see I ended up on our success page. If I go to our console and click enter, you'll see it printed out the session. And here you can see the name, first name, last name, national identification number, and the provider ID. Now you completed a login with Signicat Express. Now you have seen how easy it is to use our REST API using Signicat Express to authenticate a user. Do you have any questions, comments, or suggestions? Write them below or in our community pages. Thank you for watching.